Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, welcome back to another episode. My name is Dr Alex George, if you're a new subscriber thanks so much for joining the channel. I am today very excited because I've just found out that I'm going to be getting the antibody test for the coronavirus today at work. So I'm on the way to work right now, uh, I only found out a few min minutes ago that I'll be able to get the test today. We've known over the last week or so that the antibody tests are imminent and that soon uh, frontline staff will be available or able to have uh, the test done, which is obviously great news. You know, clearly with the job that we do, we're in uh, situations where we're at high risk of catching the coronavirus uh, despite using PP and so on. So being able to um, have the test done, uh, to know that I've been exposed is very, very important. I knew that the test was fairly imminent, uh, that it was in the pipeline over the next week or so, uh, but to know that today I'm going to be able to get the test is really very exciting. So guys, if you're new to the channel, uh, my name is Dr. Alex George, I'm an A&E doctor, I'm on the way to work now today. Uh, if you enjoy health, the health content, if you like my videos, please do remember to subscribe, hit the uh, subscribe button below and also turn on the notifications so you can get notified when I'm uploading a video. So before I head into work then, let's cover quickly what the difference is between the antibody test and the antigen test. Test. So the antigen test looks for the presence of uh, coronavirus uh, in your body at that time, so an active infection, whereas the antibody test is looking for a level of immunity against uh, the coronavirus. So essentially, you know, whether you've been exposed previously, you've developed immune response, and now you have some level of immunity. What we don't know at the moment is whether having antibodies means that you won't get coronavirus again. We don't know the answer to that question. We do, of course, hope that having these antibodies means that we are immune. Uh, we know that with other infections that that seems to be the case and the logic would hold true, but of course we can't be sure. There's a lot of variables depending on whether the, the coronavirus mutates, um, you know, its behavioral uh, characteristics as a virus, we've got a lot to learn. For me personally, this is a huge day because I've been working uh, in this department uh, for several years. I've been here throughout the whole coronavirus outbreak uh, and I really want to know out of interest as much as, you know, for my own personal uh, sake, what uh, the answer to the question is, do I have antibodies uh, or not? Uh, I've seen um, some kind of research or statistics suggesting that around 5% of the population has been exposed. One would think that working in an A&E department like Lewisham, which has had, you know, a huge number of cases, that surely, I would have been exposed to coronavirus. Um, of course, we've worn a wee PPE, we've done all those things, but cl quite clearly, for, for obvious reasons, we are at higher risk than the, the kind of general population. So I'll be very interested to see what the result of uh, the test is. So I'm just about to head into work now. Uh, I'll get changed, and I believe we're going over in batches to have the test done. I'll take you over when I'm having the blood test. Uh, can you talk you through what's happening, uh, what bottle we're using, just kind of some of those things as well. Uh, and also, I'm gonna find out when I get the result, because at the moment, I'm not sure. I think it's kind of 48, 72 hours, and I assume it's via text. So I'll keep you guys updated. Let's go and find out the answers. So today, I'm gonna take you with me over to have this blood test done. I'm gonna show you the bottle this gets sent off in and try and give you a bit of an insight into what actually happens uh, with this antibody test, uh, how long it will take for me to find out the results, and what it really means for me. But you know, this really is a huge moment. My immediate reaction is that I'm kind of feeling um, quite apprehensive in a way actually about having the test. Uh, I've seen a huge number of patients with coronavirus, of course, using PPE and wearing PPE, but clearly we are at much higher risk of catching the virus. And me, my, myself, I haven't been unwell, uh, I haven't certainly displayed symptoms of the virus, um, but I do think logically, you know, I surely must have been exposed. So um, have I had the virus? Have I now got antibodies to the virus? This is what I'm that's kind of going through my head right now. This really is a massive moment. I've talked about it on my channel before. This is so, so important that we have these antibody tests. The plan is, of course, to test those uh, on the front line, uh, those most at risk, uh, and of course, general population as well, to know what level of the population have been exposed to the virus, what level of the population have immunity. Uh, it's, it's a huge and important step. If I'm completely honest with you, um, do I want to have been exposed to COVID-19? No. Um, but would I be somewhat relieved if I have antibodies? I think I probably would be. I certainly would feel a little bit more like, well, I've had it now. Um, I haven't been too unwell. I have the antibodies, so hopefully uh, that gives me immunity if I'm exposed again. Does it change anything at the moment? Not really, because even if I have antibodies, it doesn't change what I need to do. I still need to socially distance. I still need to distance from uh, Amelia, and I still need to make sure that I'm not a at risk of exposing anyone. Until the government guidelines change, that will be the case. But I really want to know, do I have antibodies? So let's go over there. I'm going to try and get some footage of having the blood test taken. Right, so let's head over and get this antibody test done. 
We are actually going to be doing the antibody testing in our recess department. It's currently empty, there's no patients in here, and so we're using this area now to basically have the test done for all of uh, our staff. It's a very organised system actually, so essentially we have to register uh, on the database, you know, our name, date of birth, all those kind of identifiable factors, uh, so that when we have our test, clearly that we can track people if they test uh, what the test result is and we're contactable and so on. Uh, and once we've done that, once we've registered on the system, you've signed and agreed you're happy to have the test done, uh, then we come through into the recess bay over here, well, the very lovely Hannah who's preparing to do my blood test. Hello. She's promised me she'll get it in the first 10 oh. times, which is great. So she'll be all right, she'll be all right. Just for example, I wanted to show you what we use to take the blood test. So I've just popped this on the side. This is not what's gonna be used for me, um, but just for example, so I've got a needle here with a safety cap on it there, so that's safe, it's not exposed, etc. cetera. Um, the uh, vacutainer and this bottle goes into there like so, and that's how we obtain a blood sample. Uh, there's not a huge amount of blood in there, it looks like it, but not a massive amount. There's actually a solution in the bottom that mixes the blood. And so, let's get this test done. Hannah, are you excited? Very excited. I'm excited. <laughs> Nigel's excited because he'll hear me or stop hearing me <laughs> going on about this for so long. Um, so yeah, let's get going. Right, so uh, I've sat down, I'm gonna be a good boy and stay still. Um, so yeah, this is, a, this is a tourniquet, so we use these now because they're disposable. Uh, we do that for reasons of uh, cleanliness and so on. Um, so yeah, that goes around the, the arm and then we find a vein that we can use, like so. And once we've identified a good vein uh, that we think we can get the blood sample out, that's where we will go with the needle. Can you hold that ready? I'll be good, I'll hold the, uh, hold the gauze. What if I get, what if I cry? I'll point away because I might get wince or something. Sharp scratch. Oh, She's rough this one, these, <laughs> these Lewisham nurses. Oh, no. She missed. No, she hasn't missed. She hasn't missed. She's got it. She's got it. She got it. She's perfect. She did it perfectly. She did it absolutely perfect. Good job I didn't get my consultant to do it. He'd miss. There we go. Okay. That's all done. Brilliant. Great. So it's really, it is actually completely painless. It's quick and easy. Of course, we're the first to have these tests, but this will be rolled out in the communities. And I can promise you that it's very much painless. Uh, easily done and it's over before you know it uh, and you, you'll know if I'm lying sort of winced on the uh, on the camera but I didn't and there we go yeah. all done easy as that um, can I have a look at my blood sample oh, here you go. Uh, well you, I haven't got gloves on so I'll let oh. you hold it so um, there's my blood in there you can see and so that will be sent off and hopefully I'll have a test result within kind of 48 hours or, or so right mm. how many tests have you done today so far um, I think 34. About 40 tests so far today, so that's pretty, yeah, good. pretty good. We're getting through hopefully the most of the department within the next um, few days, I think, isn't it? Yeah, hopefully. So I, as I understand, we're going to get through obviously the department here at Lewisham, other departments in the country are doing the same thing, and then it will kind of be rolled out to the rest of, uh, of the community. And as I say, it'll be very interesting to see what the results are. Hey everyone, so obviously I've just had the blood test done. This is my actual blood sample here, which is labelled and ready to go. Um, I'm just going to pass it back to the nurse now in a second or so. As I was saying, I expect to hear results hopefully in the next 48 to 72 hours. Uh, they're texting out the results to, uh, to people uh, to inform them of you know, what the result is. Uh, and so we'll see. I guess for me as a reflective point, uh, of course I haven't seen uh, Amelia for a long time. Uh, it'll be very interesting to see what the antibody tests show because there is some level of presumption that will provide some kind of immunity. Uh, however, of course, the government guidance doesn't change. If you show immunity on your antibody test, that doesn't mean you shouldn't social distance, and I would still be following the same rules. However, when we get to the point we're allowed to mix households fully, then potentially, if the evidence backs at that time, that would provide a little bit more comfort, I guess, as to whether I'm safe to be around someone um, and we have some immunity. It's going to be very interesting to see the results of this because, of course, the whole department pretty much has been tested. So it'll be very interesting to see what level of immunity there is um, because we all kind of presumed it would be kind of 50, 60 percent. But if the results show that it's 5 or 10 percent or even lower, yes, that probably means our PPE has been very, been very effective and that we've followed the kind of guidance around PPE very well. But it would be quite surprising, I think. And considering that we've had a few members of staff that have been unwell, to hear that only a few percentage actually had it would be quite a surprise. Anyway, I can let you guys know and keep you informed about the results, so I hope um, to tell you very, very soon. I hope this video has been useful, giving you a bit of an insight into the process, what it's like to have the bloods taken, 
uh, and a little bit as well about what the results mean. So thank you so much. Please remember to uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts and any questions below. Take care, everyone. Goodbye.